wonderful to be at, back with everyone this week. And uh, as we, this past Sunday, we celebrated Trinity Sunday. And of course, the Trinity, as we know, and I think I mentioned it before, is the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All at three in one. Uh, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So as we begin this week, uh, we hear readings from our Old Testament that relate to faithfulness and uh, trusting in God as he created us in his own image. So as we begin, we offer up our wrongdoings knowing that we have a very forgiving and loving God. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy, and you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. So let us kick it off with a hymn today. And of course, we're still kind of in the festival. where we are and it was a quick review of of uh, you know the seven sacraments that uh, our church uh, uh, celebrates and starting with baptism and uh, baptism of course when we were infants leads us to confirmation when we're old enough to actually uh, confirm for ourselves that we believe in in one God we believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God and we believe in the Trinity the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And then it leads us to what we celebrate today, uh, spiritually, uh, the Eucharist. And of course, as Catholics, we believe that it's a true substance of Jesus in the Eucharist. And a part of that, all three of those, uh, particularly uh, Confirmation and the Eucharist, is uh, the Sacrament of Reconciliation, or Penance. And, uh, you know, it's an individual thing, and it's also a sacrament in the church. Many of you will 
recall and still do uh, go to confession and as we confess our sins and we're given absolution. And then of course a very important sacrament is the, is the anointing of the sick and a lot, of, a lot of people refer that to as the last rites but uh, we'd rather refer it to as anointing of the, uh, uh, the anoint, uh, it's anointing so that we are stronger and better uh, while we're alive. It's not about death at all. Holy orders uh, is vocation uh, for the priesthood or myself as a deacon. Uh, that's a holy order. And, uh, and of course we have a marriage. And we'll talk about that today in our readings we hear about in our Old Testament readings from Talbot. How Talbot and Sarah loved uh, one another and uh, gave each other to uh, one another uh, through prayer and faithfulness. And uh, <clears throat> of course that brings us back to, uh, you know, Lord, here here we are. And, uh, and that's where we are today. So as we begin, we always know that I'm going to pull up a picture of uh, uh, Tabit and Sarah. Here we are. Try to move my camera so you can see me. Uh, there we are. There. So it, it's interesting uh, uh, in, in today's readings, uh, our, our first reading, how at that very time the prayer of the three two supplements were heard in the glorious presence of the Almighty God. God heard the prayers of, of Tobit and Sarah instantly. He also answered their prayers quickly sending the angel Raphael to work out the glorious answers to their prayers. Indeed, their answers far exceeded anything uh, Tobit and Sarah could ask for or imagine. Yet it took some time for the answer to those prayers to be unfolded. And it wasn't an easy life for uh, uh, Sarah and Tobit. I mean, Tobit, uh, uh, he always prayed but he was blind, and Sarah ended up having to be the major bread uh, winner of the family. And uh, she was a weaver, and a very good weaver. And she became uh, well known for the quality of weaving that she'd done. And, and uh, the unfolding process is important as the actual answer to their prayers. And day after day, uh, Tobit and Sarah had to persevere in their faith in God. That's like us, you know, especially sometimes when we get sick and we wonder where God is or a loved one is, is sick or a loved one has died. And we, we often say, how, how could we have a God that takes the, away our loved ones or makes us sick? But in our readings, the favor of the Lord's are not exhausted. His mercies are not spent. They re are renewed each morning. Uh, so great is, is his faithfulness. And that's about prayer. And of course that is from Lamentations. So it's about us and hope in God's mercy and his kindness with our prayers. And knowing that they'll be answered. I know it's, it's easier for me to sit here and say, uh, have faith, uh, our prayers are answered. Uh, often not, we don't realize uh, until after the fact that, that they're answered. So let us... Uh, just trust in God as uh, Sarah and, and Tobit did, especially Tobit, who uh, it wasn't until the angel of Raphael appeared um, and, and uh, it, uh, it was like a scale come off his eyes and allowed him, him to see. And uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it's challenging, I, I can't imagine. And the writings likely took place early in, in the Old Testament. Um, and it was about how God uh, did bless them and recognized their goodness and what they brought. And, uh, and we hear in our readings today, Psalm 25 from King David, which coincides with the faithfulness that uh, Tobit and Sarah had, a prayer for guidance and deliverance. And, uh, and, and that's about uh, often the sacrament of penance. God is infinitely mercy and a source of mercy 
and that's about that unconditional love that he has for us. It's, I've said it before, and in this month of June, we're celebrating the Sacred Heart of Jesus, the outpouring of the love for, uh, from his Father to his Son, and with the Holy Spirit, we have the Trinity. So as we prepare, uh, next, uh, uh, next Sunday is uh, Corpus uh, Christi Sunday, and, and that's uh, how we acknowledge the Eucharist. And many of you will remember uh, praying. We would process around the church. And I know as a kid, uh, we would process uh, uh, in our town, uh, down the streets. And, and uh, it, was, it was basically to, to see, that, so people could see our commitment. Uh, and that was when the monstrous the, the would be carried. And, and uh, I'll just pull a quick picture of, of it up here. Uh, there you can see uh, I am the living bread that came down from heaven says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And uh, that monstrous is the uh, vessel that uh, carries the, the Eucharist, the sacred uh, body and blood of our Lord. So that will be coming up uh, uh, next week. So let's go to another hymn and, and let's uh, be joyous that we're we're uh, um, going to be able to uh, receive our Lord uh, uh, spiritually. And so come Holy Spirit. Yeah. 
spiritually, uh, we also need to be thankful for the many, many blessings that we do have, uh, the great country that we live in, and uh, this past uh, weekend, uh, the Legion celebrated their annual drumming event, uh, we're laying on the flags on the drum and uh, thanking the, the many men and women who went to war for our freedom, and for the many men and women who are still in action this day uh, we need to pray for them we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer and let us also pray for our families those we love and those we miss and think about often we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer and let's pray for those people that are there uh, day after day to support us uh, for me it's my wife Marie and and for many of you it's uh, the people that uh, are there and you're uh, caregivers uh, uh, who are part of your family and we pray for them we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer as we and of course let us also pray for anybody might that might be sick and not able to join us today uh, we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer as we say uh, the great prayer of our father uh, let me just find it Here we go. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always safe and free from all distress as we wait for the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And this is an opportunity that uh, I extend uh, uh, peace to everyone. And I wish I could be with you, but peace be with you and with your spirit. And now let us prepare uh, to receive our Lord spiritually uh, through uh, the Lamb of God. Jesus, Lamb of God, Jesus, bread of life, you 
Jesus, Prince of Peace. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And uh, maybe we'll hear this hymn, Open My Eyes, Lord. Christian faith community would continue to be witnesses to Jesus Christ's virtues of faith, hope, and charity. May we be people of faith, always willing to follow the example of Jesus in all that we do. May we be people of hope, always trusting in your loving presence in our lives. May we be people of charity, always willing to give of ourselves to the better the lives of others. Together, may we be a community of faith anchored in hope with heart and charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now let's go to uh, another hymn, Everybody's one of everybody's favorites hymn. Um, let me see. Old Rugged Cross. We haven't uh, heard that one in a while. <laughs> Thank you. 
On a hill far away Stood an old rugged cross The emblem of suffering and shame How I love that old cross Where the dearest and best For a world of lost sinners was slain So I'll cherish the old rugged cross Till my trophies at last I So despised by the world as a wondrous attraction for me. For the dear Lamb of God left his glory above to bear it to dark hell. So the Lord be with us and with your spirit. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face continue to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may God bless you, everyone, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I'll just close with a quick hymn, Jesus Loves Us. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. loves me, the Bible tells me so. 
Jesus loves me, he who died. Heaven's gate to open wide. He will wash away my sin. Let his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. loves me, he will stay, close beside me all the way. If I love him when I die, he will take me home on high. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me.